So the video today, uh, the main part of it is going to be sorting out the slight problem with the alignment on the gear cogs for this new turbine. Uh, these are going to be connected to the shaft via collars like so. Okay, uh, the holes are where I was just practicing with the drill press which needs a new chuck. Uh, I can still drill the smaller holes with it but it's a bit tricky with the bigger ones. So the problem we have that needs sorting today is that the holes are slightly off center but what I'm going to have to do is use my calipers to work out where it shifted over more and then grind some out with a dremel on the, on the other side and then because as I showed you in the last video which I'll try and insert here quickly now so I've got to get the calipers and work out which bits which first I'm just going to give them a quick clean up with a grinder so yeah that, that's something I will have to sort that out but I can do that so that's not a problem yeah we've got the same thing on the other one because it'll move around there. Somebody gave me a pair of these gloves and they're Kevlar, so I'm using them for the grinding. Lovely. Sweet, certainly looks a lot cleaner. I'll, I'll do the other side after we've uh, made the adjustments. So now they're a bit better cleaned up so we can see what we're dealing with around the center. I've got my dodgy calipers which survived the fire. They're not actually too bad. Uh, the battery cover's missing so sometimes they go off. So I've got to now work out what we want to remove, which side. So I'm gonna do that. So that was fairly simple. We have 10, which is what I call a short measure measurement, which means the calipers will fit over easily. And the L for long means the calipers won't fit over. So what we need to do, I'm pretty sure, I'm gonna think about it first, we'll have a cup of tea. I think what I'm gonna to have to do is grind some out of here. to in effect shift the hole a bit further towards this side. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna time lapse it while I do the same for this one, and then we'll see what we've got. So obviously what I've got to do first is find a short one and set the calipers to that. So there. Don't have a digital reading it's irrelevant all I'm doing is using these to compare that will fit over nicely on that one but won't fit over that one so that tells us what we need to know it's a very simple uncomplicated way of doing it uh, which I won't know if it's worked properly until I finish with the Dremel and get these bits put on the shaft and uh, before we do any welding I need, just need to clamp this together one of these either side and give it a whiz round to check we're not getting that up and down that we were getting in the last video. Jeez, my fingers are cold. So hopefully, for the S's, shorties, we love you. We love you shorties for sure. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14. So that is a 28 tooth hub. So that is the first part done. So just gonna mark up the longer sides. These 2P will do a pretty good job.
definitely get in there with what we needed to remove. Grab that side there. Cushy cushy bish bosh. I'm just going to go get the shaft of Rooney. We'll see how it fits up. So, the one I haven't played around with, the one I haven't done yet, let's put that on. And there's, hot, there's very little jiggly pokery. You know, there's hardly any movement. There's a little bit sideways, but we sort that with the inclusion of the collar. That gets sorted. So, let us see what the bish bosh has done. And we should have some play there. Yeah, there's a little bit around the top. That's what we want. I'll put that. So there's a little bit of up and down movement. So I'm going to try and sandwich those on the shaft and see what's going on. What I've done, I've placed the cog in between two collars. I've pushed this side down so that any slack is now any slack or emptiness is now on the S. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the camera so we can film properly here and then we'll spin it around and we'll see if we've still got that up and down, which I'm hoping will have got a lot better. So when we spin it, let's see it's looking pretty straight. So this is very close. There's only a tiny little gap. So when we spin it, we can see that the gap remains it seems to remain identical so I'd pretty much say we're on to a winner with that I'm just going to insert again the video of it before where you can see it going up and down so yeah that that's something I will have to sort that out but I can do that so that's not a problem yeah we've got the same thing on the other one as it'll move around there and then it catches there. So we know exactly which bit's out of sync. This is it from a better angle. So yeah, that looks pretty good. It's just clearing that by the tiniest little bit. So we definitely made an improvement on that. That should be good to go. Let's uh, do the other one. So, what I've done again here, I just want to show you that there's a little bit of upward and downward movement. So, theoretically, if we go again with the L around the top, if I bolt these together, push it down again just to make sure, squeeze them as tight as my weedy little hands can. Tight enough. pretty happy with that so that's good so that's one of the main problems and we'll finish with that there so they are fully corrected and no problems with them at all uh, I need some heat source before I can weld them because my welders not powerful enough and it's it will need to be heated up before I weld it so that will be the next video we'll be fixing those properly to the collars and making sure that it, they can be fitted in the shaft properly